Hello everyone, it's Elle from Team Up Form right here and for this video, I'll be showing you guys the comparison between Google Forms and SurveyMonkey. So um, I have two tabs opened over here, one for SurveyMonkey and for Google Forms. So I will go over each online form maker in a short while. So Google Forms and SurveyMonkey are two popular online survey tools that allow you to create and distribute surveys, collect and analyze responses. While both platforms have similarities, they also have some differences that may make one more suitable for your needs than the other. So I will show you guys starting from now the breakdown of the main differences between Google Forms and SurveyMonkey. So first is Google Forms over here is completely free to use, while on the other hand, SurveyMonkey offers both a free and a paid version. So its free version has some limitations on features and the number of responses that you can collect. So as you can see over here, you can choose to upgrade your account or um, over here you can see um, the paid plans. So if you subscribe to their paid plan, then you can get more responses, use advanced question types and collaborate with others as said over here. So next would be the features. So SurveyMonkey offers more advanced features and customization options than Google Forms, such as um, advanced branching, skip logic, and more question types. However, Google Forms is simpler to use and may be more suitable for basic surveys. So if you only want to make a simple survey, I think Google Forms would be much suitable for you, especially if you're not really um, tech savvy. So you can create simple forms from scratch or you can choose from the template gallery. So over here we have um, SurveyMonkey. So let's try to create a survey. So you can either start your survey from scratch just like in Google Forms or start your survey from a quick start template. So let's try this one and see how the interface looks like. So as you can see over here, it is quite complicated as compared to Google Forms. However, it has more features. So let's try to check um, a simple Google Form over here. So as you can see, Google Form is easier to customize as compared to SurveyMonkey. Um, Next is the integration. So Google Forms integrates seamlessly with other Google tools such as Google Sheets and Google Drive, while SurveyMonkey integrates with other third-party tools such as Salesforce and MailChimp. So if you haven't tried yet, um, Google Forms can be um, linked to a spreadsheet. This is where you can see your responses. So let's try this one. So this is very useful if you want to organize your responses or simply like arrange them per category or alphabetically. So next would be the user interface. So Google Forms has um, a very simple and user-friendly um, interface while SurveyMonkey's interface is much more complex and may require some more learning. So personally, I haven't really tried SurveyMonkey as of yet. And um, looking at the interface right now, I think I have to learn from certain YouTube tutorials before I can master how to use this um, website. So ultimately, the choice between um, Google Forms and SurveyMonkey will depend on your specific needs and preferences. So if you need a free tool for basic surveys such as for um, order forms, quizzes, registration forms, sign-up forms, or um, simple surveys for research papers and the likes, then Google Forms may be the best option for you. Um, if you require some more advanced features and customization options, and if you really um, need um, a form that has a lot of features, then I think SurveyMonkey may be a better choice. So yes, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you tune in for more.